This legislative summary is provided to you by Main Street Insider. This week we examine H.R. 402, the National Infrastructure Development Bank Act, sponsored by Congresswoman Rosa DeLora. American infrastructure is becoming increasingly inadequate to meet our growing needs. Our infrastructure is deteriorating all across the country. Funding is just not keeping up with the need. With millions of Americans currently struggling to find work in a sluggish economy, there is growing support for a national infrastructure bank. There's a bill sitting in Congress right now that would set up an infrastructure bank to get that moving attracting private sector dollars, not just public dollars. Congress needs to move. Specifically, H.R. 402 would establish a national infrastructure bank with initial capitalization of $25 billion over the first five years. The bank would support transportation, environmental, energy, and telecommunications infrastructure projects across the country through loans, loan guarantees, and similar tools. That money would leverage up to $625 billion in private investments, and any capital payments would be reinvested in the bank. The bank would be governed by a five-member board appointed by the president and confirmed by the Senate. Most Republicans are expected to call this a big government proposal and a handout to unions. That bank will be used to fund union jobs. Yep. Supporters view this as one of the best ideas to tackle both unemployment and a crumbling infrastructure. This is a nation that's been built on bricks and mortar and fiber optics. And this is about building America and creating jobs. H.R. 402 is in committee, and while no action has been scheduled, a proposal of this nature is expected to be included in the president's jobs plan. Tune in next Monday for a summary of a budget proposal from Senator Pat Toomey at MainStreetInsider.org.